Hey YouTube, what's going on? Sausage here, and uh, today I want to give you my opinion on the Skull Rain DLC. I want to start with uh, Cavera. Now, a lot of people are saying that the semi automatic shotgun Cavera's got is kind of very overpowered, which is not true, by the way, because pretty much every other semi automatic shotgun in the game is overpowered. That's why all these shotguns are getting a nerf in the next couple of weeks, according to a Reddit post. Now, when it comes to her ability, or her abilities, should I say, since she's got two. Now, her first ability, which is uh, the interrogation, or at least I believe, is very smooth. Nothing's wrong with it. It's not like OP or anything like that. Now, here's when I come across an issue with her second ability, which is uh, silent steps. Sometimes you're better off not entering stealth mode, simply because it's not silent at all. People still can hear you and react to that. Especially if you're gaming with a headset. I mean, that's... Literally like fucking hacking. I can fucking hear my teammates all the way across from the fucking map with the headsets. Which is pretty much the standard today, I mean. Who'll still have speakers on his PC, you know, master race and shit. So that's one thing. Another thing is when you switch on over to silent step or when you enter stealth, you make so much noise, it's like a big boom switching on over to your pistol because that's how the game is designed so you better off keeping your primary weapon rather than switching on over to the pistol because switching to the pistol will give away your position no matter what and that winds up having the opposite effect of the stealth mode in the first place so definitely the stealth mode should be tweaked a little more and the uh, swapping weapon sound should be completely turned off when you enter a stealth mode if they eventually want to fix the uh, stealth mode issue. Now, on the other hand, Capitao's crossbow is one of the most tactical elements of the game, and I wouldn't imagine Rainbow Six Siege without something like it. It is something that is really necessary in certain situations. I've been waiting for something like this for so long, and it finally happened, so I'm pretty happy about it. There's so much you could do with a crossbow, especially in game modes like uh, when you have to defuse the bomb. You could just like put the diffuser down and then uh, turn it into a hot potato by uh, sticking a couple of uh, incendiary bolts into it. Or even you could just block the entrance to that room so none of the enemy teams can get in and defuse the bomb. There's so much you could do with that crossbow. It's really good. I'm liking it so much so far. Now I understand there's got to be some kind of a balance between the ability of the operator and his primary weapons. So the operator won't become this powerhouse sort of thing. But I think uh, Ubisoft has gone over the top with uh, Capitao by nerfing his two uh, primary weapons so much. It's so they're so like both of them, both of the um, the assault rifle and the light machine gun are kind of uh, very inaccurate. Especially the assault rifle. It's got so much recoil. So I'm thinking they should really like um, increase the fire rate on the LMG and uh, just uh, increase its inner currency or decrease its accuracy and um, with the assault rifle they should nerve the recoil a little bit because it's like it seems like it has so much recoil it kind of leaves you on the weak side of things in firefights because it's got a slow rate of fire and tremendous recoil so just to sort of like balance it out with its with a crossbow it's just uh, i don't think that's a good idea actually definitely those primary weapons needs to be changed a little bit now when it comes to the map the uh, favelas i think the map is awesome it's something uh, it's not and uh, we haven't seen in rainbow six siege maps so far so it's something new something really uh different it's sort of a maze but my only problem with uh, with the map is that i didn't get to play it enough to learn it and that's why I'm suggesting to Ubisoft to have some kind of a uh, DLC-only playlist, at least for the first two weeks. And, and that's a, another way for Ubisoft to see how much people are uh, willing to play that map and how much they like that map, actually. So yeah, this was my two cents on the old Skull Rain DLC thing. So bottom line is, Caviera's stealth mode needs a buff. Capitao's uh, primary weapons also needs, to, needs a little tweaking. And we need a new playlist, or a DLC-only playlist, at least for two for the first two weeks of, from the DLC lunch. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'm Sausage, and you've been watching the Sausage Show.